Let's now have a look at how we can set up 12D to use some of the hotkeys or the user keys within 12D. As you might be aware, 12D is shipped with a standard user keys.4D file, and that allows you essentially when you select F2 on the keyboard or F6 for an editing option and things like that, they just essentially prompt for different panels to get you to fill those out. It makes it a little bit easier, these little hotkeys there that you can learn to, to use as well. And there's a whole bunch of these that actually shipped with 12D, but we can edit that file and add our own if you want to also. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you know, we're working currently in the working directory, the working project there. You've got the customer folders there, the user folders, and we're going to go right back to the install 12D files. And we're going to look at the setups file. So this gives you a quick access to the setups file or the setup library from 12D that are under the program files. But being a .4D file, we're definitely looking in the setups folder here. So we'll open up explore there. Okay, so now we're in here, we're looking for a file called userkeys.4d. There it is there. And if I open that up in Notepad, or I use Notepad++, you can see that there. And these are the keys and, and the, the information that it's available on being read in by 12D. Just to make it a little bit easier to read, I tend to use this language, the C++. All the comments are out green with the forward slashes there, the comments. And you will know that there's a bit of a note here at the very top. F one through to F12 is available, but F1 and F10 out of those keys should be avoided since they're reserved by Microsoft. So just don't use F1 and F10, but all the other function keys are available. You can also use a combination of Shift and Control and Alt. So you can actually have Shift Control or Control and Alt or yeah, Alt and Shift. You can actually use different combinations of the three keys on your keyboard to actually also bring up different panels also. So I guess it's just a case of, of setting that up as well and we'll have a look at that. So coming down, all these are just comments of things that you might want to think you might want to use, some measuring commands there. Keep coming down. Um, Control R to redraw. Then we've got F2 for string inquire. So you can see these just go through the standard ones that 12D is shipped with. F2, F3, F4. And we'll keep coming down. Multi-string properties. F12 for ADAC. And then we get into the more nuanced ones with Alt F9 and Shift Alt F9, and then also Control Alt A's and things like that. You might also want to be aware of and stay away from the normal Windows options like Control Z for undoing, Control C and Control V for cut and paste. Um, just don't probably want to get one to use those letters essentially to, to set up your hotkeys, but pretty much you've still got a wide range of letters and combinations that you can set up for yourself. So we'll keep coming down. There's some measuring options, control B and control E. A lot of people don't use these ones, but they've been in there for a very long time. Obviously hitting control and B on the keyboard will bring up the measure bearing a distance and control E brings up the measure, di measure different values for you, those two panels as well. So again, they're just hot keys just to bring up the panels a little bit quicker and make it a bit easier for you. So this again is the one out of the 12D box under the program files. So we need to, if we're going to do any changes, we need to save this file off, keep the same name, but put it in my working directory. And then when I'm happy with it, I'd move it out of my working directory back into the, either the customer or the user directories up the top here. Uh, and that way 12D will find that and use that as the default file from then on. So let me just save this one away and then we can continue to edit this file. Okay, I've saved the file into my working directory. So it's all good into my project. I can now start to customize the file itself. I guess you just have to have a think about what panel you might want to use within 12D to use one of these hotkeys on. I'm thinking I might want to set my, my one up to change because I often do use this panel where I need to change the strings information, either change its color or its name or its style and things like that. So that is a panel that I use quite often and I might want to set that up so I can just bring that panel up nice and quick. So getting back into our notepad file here into their user keys file. I'm just gonna have a quick search and find if there's already a change option in here because it is option that is used a lot. And there is, it's, there's one up here. Um, someone had it set under F9 and you can see with the forward slashes that it's actually being commented out. Currently F9 is being used for multi-string properties, which is also a really good option if you haven't used F9 on the keyboard. This multi-string properties option is really a, another good option within 12D as well. So I want to keep that one. I do definitely want to use that one again, but what I want to do is use this change strings. So I've got these other options. I could use Control or Shift F9. 
So I don't think I'm going to use the perspective view or creating a new perspective view that often. So I'm just going to put the two forward slashes in here, comment that option out, and I'll grab that piece of text for the control there, the control button. F9 will now bring up my change string panel. Excellent. So I'm just going to save my text file off. I have to restart 12D so it then reads in this .4D file. So let's go restart. I'm back in 12D now. And so if I use the control and F9, let's just have a look at that. So I'll go control on the keyboard, F9, and it's bring up change string. Well, that's what I typed in. So I guess that's exactly what I've got, changing of the string. So as you know, we can change strings, strings, edit, and change, and that changes one string at a time. I was really after the global one under the utilities change and change here. This is the one I was after. And if I had have checked the name of the panel, and you can do that by just clicking on a little 12D icon, coming down to dump, often the name of the panel is actually then displayed as the file name there. So really, I just needed change string and the word info at the back. So I was close, just not good enough. So yeah, this one's change string, change string information, okay. So back into our little notepad file. Well, I actually might wanna keep that one as well. Let's have this one under the shift F9 instead. So let's grab that piece of text. Again, not making my section views anymore, bad luck to them. And type in the word info, saving that off, restarting 12D. All right, so I've restarted again, and now I'm just gonna check and see if I go control F9 and shift F9 and see if I get those two options there. So control F9, happy days, and now also shift F9. And I get the two options available to me. And that's essentially how easy it is. You just have to know the name of the panel, which I've shown you how you can find that. And you can just do control shift, or you can even do, as I said, a combination of shift alt and F9s or, or different combinations as well. It gives you plenty of choices there. Well, I hope that helps and gets you into using some of the hotkeys or shortcuts within 12D. Thanks very much.